All right, another trap guide. This is the first deliver the bomb I've covered, and it's gonna be a doozy. We've got the anomaly blocking areas to trap. We've got a nice, what is this, a two high wall right here? That's gonna be neat. It's also exploding, oops, no, 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 not the menu I wanted to show. Exploding death bomb and healing death burst. Before we get into it, these guides are meant to be instructional. So if I overbuild or do it wrong, please learn from my mistakes. Nobody is perfect in this game and honestly spawns out in the real world, not in endurance, can get a little crazy. And enemies go right around our tunnels all the time. But that's kind of why I want to show these series because right here, right now, I'm telling you, I'm not certain how I'm going to approach this. And Deliver the Bomb specifically is quite... Uh, quite messy. Uh, I also have a trap funneling guide, link in the description below. I have trap uh, best perks for all the traps that I'm going to be using for the most part. I haven't covered the wall darts and I haven't covered every single trap, but most of them will be down there. And this trap guide series has a playlist. So if you guys are interested in that, all the links are in the description. So everybody on my team has agreed to let me do all the trapping. Nobody should ever trap alone. I highly recommend you guys using your team. Um, I highly recommend you guys use your team. Uh, I'll explain what I just did in a second, actually. And 160 should never be done solo. It is called a four-player's mission for a reason. You guys can join our Discord link down below if you guys are looking for nice people to play with. If you are a nice person, you will find nice people. Nobody has to play with you, and I don't recommend relying on public missions if you can. If you're even watching this video, you have found the broader Save the World community, and our Discord has, like, 23,000 people. So, yeah, a little plug there. Please be nice to people. Um, they are not your slaves. So I built this up an extra level because of this cliff. There is really no point in having a ramp where enemies are just going to be dropping down. And in a mission this broad, especially with death burst, I think I'm going to go with defenders. I don't often like to use defenders because they are a little bit expensive and I want these to be reasonable, practical missions. But here's my argument. In 160s, you don't always, um, actually, by the way, my loadout here, if you guys are interested, is the rocket loadout. Um, in 160s, Howdy. you are really only queuing like 10 of these a week and so in my opinion if you play ventures you're not farming but if you're playing only 10 missions a week you can kind of save up for these defenses so it's a little okay and reasonably death bomb has a lot going on so in these deliver the bomb missions they have always been bugged in the recent update they're claiming that husks no longer damage through walls if the uh, commenters in the twitch chat want to l give their opinion on that by the way the how dare you command thing that's running i'm sorry it's an audio bit i think it's amusing but it, it interrupts the video a little bit uh just like i did but yeah um deliver the bomb has always been notorious for death bombs exploding through the wall propane exploding and, and doing damage to the objective and so i think defenders are going to be uh a good way to go so most enemies are going to attack this first tile in here and i think i can build it up just like that because i don't want the defenders to get you know killed i want them to be alive and well so putting them up a oh, level dear. makes it a little more difficult for enemies to hit them with projectiles and then i'm just going to put them sort of closer on the back end just so they're a safe distance away i'm going to need uh water obliterators because we're in a fire mission and of course because we're in a fire mission metal is going to be the superior way to play and I'm going to get three of these down. If any one of our teammates wants to put a fourth one down, they are more than welcome to. But three should be completely fine. I'll uh, let them decide that. But yeah, anti airs all around because we are going to need them to stay alive. And that should hopefully be enough. This will block a little bit of their line of sight, but we're using obliterators for a reason. So for once, we actually have a ramp here, and I don't super think it's going to be important. Uh, this defense right here is going to be a little tricky, and I'm not 100% sure how to deal with it. There are spawns on that end, and I'm going to try to dissuade it. Uh, I really don't want enemies to be coming through this anomaly. I'm going to hope I can block it off. And of course, the defenders will make up for any mistakes I have here. That's not going to do anything. But what I really want to avoid is them coming up here at all. Uh, are walls going to get broken right here? This close to the anomaly, I'm honestly not certain. I think it's okay. I think the anomaly simply blocks spawns. And I think it really... <laughs> I don't know how much I slap you had to do with that, but watching defenders help bully a smasher is a really satisfying feeling i don't think these take i honestly don't know these are just the kind of things you forget as a late game player um seriously you guys i just do these missions and i never really think super hard about it because i'm not recording a video when i trap every time we're just hanging out in stream so i think those wall launchers will be fine 
and I'm actually going to spam floor freeze here. Uh, directionality is important. Um, enemies will go the opposite direction you're facing. So for all of these uh, floor freezes, they're going to freeze and then stumble backwards. That will give the, obliter the obliterators, the defenders, a lot more time to help defend that. And I'm even going to put a another wall launcher right here in case anything gets close enough. Hoping that they will... Um, here, actually, let's... Uh, do it like that yeah hoping that they'll just get sent off the edge and then i'll put the tar pit just so that smashers are less of an issue hopefully that'll stop smashers consistently and then i think i don't want to use gas traps because that'll block the defenders what i wanted to do was put a ramp here and the, the ramp solves two problems uh one it gets me up a level and two it will allow me to put something down so i'm gonna go just like this and i'm gonna try to do a pro gamer move stand on the edge here so that we can put ceiling electric fields make sure i'm using the energy ones not the nature ones the energy is the full stack this time around yep i just restocked usually it's the shorter trap so let's just put these over top all of the floor freezes just to get lots of extra damage and it's always important to have one on that final tile because if anything gets through all of this uh, there we go. And this is going to be an early start to the, uh, the to the video where between defenders and three rows of ceiling electric fields and wall launchers, this is probably overbuilt. If you ever want to recreate anything similar, this slice, probably completely unnecessary. I know people want to see cheap builds, and I'm going to say it right now. This probably won't work. I've also gotten very far in this video uh, forgetting exploding death bombs, so my bad. However, we have had past missions where this is okay. These floors, if I'm readily uh, repairing them, do survive fairly well, and I do believe, uh, I don't know if it's bugging out, I think uh, Pickle's actually running power base knocks. So with that in mind, he should be able to heal these walls and keep them nice and not dead. But what we're also dealing with here is deliver the bomb, where the actual defense is all of like four minutes, I think. So this is not gonna be a huge defense. Uh, you only need to stall them out, no, you know, literally. You only have to kill them for like four minutes. So yeah, I don't like to jail. It's not as interesting. So even if these are gonna break, Max Metal should, should stick around for four minutes now out here is going to be a little tricky this spot i'm going to uh just put a tire trap because this spot is going to have enemies and there's not much you can do about that but i don't think it's going to be too big of a problem just tell them out. leave me alone Iwari. this defense down here is going to be pretty straightforward nothing's going to be really coming up this way and i'm going to block it off just in case this is probably unnecessary down here is where they're really interested and uh, this is what i'm talking about this is why i wanted to make these trap guides this is three tiles high. There is no way to put a trap right there or right there without enemies kind of just walking all over it. Floor freeze, again, is going to get broken by the exploding death bomb, but again, we only need to survive for a little bit of, a little bit of time. Some easy wall darts just to cheese some extra damage is going to be nice, and then we can uh, hopefully just sound wall these and enemies won't have to, uh, you know, won't have to be banging on those walls for too long. And that was a mistake ramp, but I think this right here, I've defended this specific spot before. Again, you know what? Instead of placing too many, let's just go super cheap. Let's do uh, just a few ceiling electric fields. Uh, a couple there, and then I'll put like one up here. And honestly, that should be fine. Ugh, okay, that's not where I wanted to put that, as you can see, but it happens. And I'm over trapping for the sense of demonstration. Most of this is not necessary. These is probably going to be fine. I'm running a rocket loadout for goodness sake, so I should be able to handle it completely fine. And out here, there are a lot of spawns, so let's be a little lazy. Uh, let's do tire traps, just for fun, just for fun. Placing them backwards so that they are, you know, stumbling against my back. I don't like the idea of putting cones here, so let's do this. <laughs> Try to elevate as much as we can. We don't need to be, whoops. We don't need to be building out of brick, but a couple of these are gonna be completely fine. I think those tire traps are gonna be more than enough to let us deal with them. All right, these guys are doing a storm chest. If you guys all wanna run back, I'm gonna start it. Even without them over here, I have that much confidence. I will ask Pickle to uh, slap down his base as soon as he gets over here. And uh, let's get started, see how this does. Uh, maxing out this brick shouldn't be necessary, but Better safe than sorry. So let's start out here. Uh, floor freeze, working fine. Defenders are doing what they should. I'm, of course, running a very powerful rocket loadout, but I'm going to try not to intervene and hope that this is 
gonna work out fine. Tire traps are pushing the enemies back as they should. Because we place them directionally, thank you Felix for the sub, it's actually pushing them back and they're rerouting. Interesting. Okay, well that's honestly, again, as much as I don't like pure stall builds, it's unavoidable to, like, I, I will easily admit, Daddy. making enemies, you know, take a long time to get to your base is a very, very efficient way to play. I've always just disliked jailing because it's boring. That is a mistake. Um, also, that ramp I didn't mean to place should probably be dealt with. It's unnecessary, I think. Looks like we're going to be good. Are you guys going ham? Bells, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. You guys are immortalizing your subs in videos right now. Uh, Chrome Husk can't damage the objective, so I think we can just hang out for a little bit. Looks like our wall launchers, or I'm sorry, drop traps are doing fine. These enemies have found a part of the map that is not covered by them. I'll just clean them up. As I always say, uh, traps only need to do about 90% of the damage, so there's really no shame in cleaning up enemies. Uh, the traps don't need to do everything. And we got our mini boss, so yeah, those enemies are getting absolutely dealt with up there. That's looking really good. And our mini boss is building blocker damage pulse. That's cool. All right. We could deal with that. If you guys want to help with the miniboss, uh, please do. I would like to kill this thing. It's going to be hard to hear me in a second, so fair Daddy. warning. Uh, here we go. I want my war cry. I didn't expect a miniboss. I probably should have, but... Oh, I love defenders. They really just plug so many gaps. I keep looking at his health, and I don't even think I'm shooting properly. I should probably eat another coconut. I almost died. Oh, you have to think about so much when you're recording, but I think this is going to be completely fine. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put more uh, tire traps. I was ready to, and even then, I think these outer two are just not needed. Tire traps right next to the defense, facing, you know, facing this direction, so they go out to that north side, is more than enough. And even as Pickle put it, like, just building this up means that most enemies aren't even having to that point, and that tire trap was completely unnecessary. So, cool. I like this angle, by the way. I never really thought about expense too much when I was tr just trapping for myself and not making videos because I can afford it and I, uh, it's not a problem for me. But it's cool to look through these traps and just as important as which ones were good and worth placing, which ones have just seen zero traffic? That sound wall has done nothing. I mean, it's 83 out of 83. This one's only fired a couple of times and while it might be helping, it's not really necessary. One teammate running constructor, if you can control it, uh, seems to have been more than enough. And even up here, this area where this, let's see, floor freeze fired all of not even 10 times. These four are uh, all we've needed. So like I said, this last slice, probably not even necessary. Um, and I think I'm going to start using that. I never really paid so much attention to my traps before, but in future missions on or off camera, I really feel like two rows of ceiling electric field with the directionality in place, I should add is honestly more than enough. I never cared about the directionality of floor freeze because I didn't honestly think it would matter so much, but uh, whew, look at me learning new things. Yeah, this is a pretty sound defense. Nothing's even getting to those walls. When I commented earlier about the unnecessary nature of upgrading that metal, this is exactly what I expected. A full team of people who are actively playing, defenders that are cleaning up, fire traps that aren't letting them get close, and uh, man, look how far back they get pushed. That's so useful. <laughs> So, I should explain at the very end here, directionality is that tires and floor freeze. So when they freeze and they unthaw, they stumble backwards, that only ever goes in one direction. So, if you place your tire traps lazily, like maybe facing out from the objective, you are literally pushing the enemies closer to your base. There's an argument there that it might have been better to not place them there at all. So, now that I've been utilizing that directionality more, I am... Really impressed. Hopefully that guy, that was useful for you guys. The key to exploding death bomb is keep them away from the base. That's basically it. And tire traps and floor freeze help a lot with that. Uh, obviously that was pretty cheap, frankly. I think only, again, a third of what I built might have been able to get shaved off. And uh, that was a lot more solid than I thought it would be. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.